Hello, ladies and lads, and welcome back to the Baby Patch. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. The best way to support this channel is to watch the video all the way through. If you like the content, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave me a comment. Your support is greatly appreciated. Today, I'm going to uh, take Emma out of her sleepers and uh, Becca at Becca's Happy Place does a sunshine yellow Saturday event on Saturdays. So I was wanting to put Emma in this little yellow onesie with the black and yellow B on the front and these little matching socks. Um, and I need to change her uh, undershirt. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, my voice is pretty much getting back to where it was. <laughs> Not an improvement, but at least I can talk now. Hit my throat. My throat never did get sore. It never does get sore. It just, my, my normal sound just goes away. <laughs> um. Yeah, Emma's been in these sleepers for, gosh, forever. And I've been wanting to take her out of them, but, and I wanted to put her in her Easter dress, but it's long sleeves, and I know I put these long sleeve sleepers on her, but I just don't like putting long sleeves on her. I mean, it's dragging every bit of the pain off of her. I mean, you can't tell it, really, but unless you look really, really close. Lift your butt up, baby. And take your old socks off. It's getting a little warm for all these long sleeves and long socks and velour sleepers and all of this, isn't it? I just have to change her her undershirt because of the sleeves being so small. I think I just heard hubby come in. <laughs> Poor hubby. We have a, uh, well, there's a groundhog lives under our, I guess it's the back porch. Um, and then we have raccoons running everywhere. And I don't go, a uh, hubby goes to, well, he used to go to bed pretty early. He doesn't anymore since we both retired, but he stays in there in his man cave almost all the time. And uh, the other night, I was up catching up on my videos had the TV on and we live you know kind of remote kind of out in the, out in the woods and when you hear a noise at one two three o'clock in the morning you, you you pretty much think there's something going on and uh, my, this property adjoins uh, the woods, pretty much. Well, definitely in the woods. And there's a pack of wild dogs runs around. Plus, we have coyotes here. And uh, that pack of wild dogs, I had a little ragdoll cat. It was beautiful. And one year when we were going on vacation, the wild dogs ran my cat down all the way up here into the front yard and killed it. Well, after that, the only thing I I, I I don't have guns, well, didn't have guns or anything like that. So after that, I bought a gun, 
because I have two small dogs. I see those things come up in my yard and I'm gonna, I'm gonna end them, which I almost did one day anyway because they were coming after me, but that's another story. But anyway, I digress. This one night, the other night, I was laying there on the couch and I heard something just tearing up Jack out there on the porch. And I thought, oh Lord, no telling what that is. Well, I looked out there, out the door, and I didn't see anything. In a few minutes, I mean, it <laughs> sounded like somebody just threw something. Like they were, like they thrown themselves against the front door. Well, I jumped up, ran over, got my gun, because I thought they was coming in the door. <laughs> Needless to say, this gun wasn't even loaded. I, I keep the clip someplace else, you know. Just so I don't shoot nothing, you know, on the spur of the moment and regret it later. So, anyway, I grabbed my gun. And I thought, well, I'm going to go in there and tell Hubby. So, I, I run in there. Hubby was asleep. So, I didn't even turn on the light. I went in there and I shook Hubby awake. And here I was standing with that gun beside his bed. And... I was holding the gun straight up. Uh, I woke him up. Sweetie, sweetie, wake up, wake up. Oh, he wakes up and scared to death. <laughs> Looked at me. <laughs> Staying there holding that gun. I don't know what he thought, but it was plain on his face. <laughs> he was scared to death. His eyes got like that. <laughs> He's like, what, what, what? <laughs> so I told him what was going on. And he jumps up. He looks outside and he opens the door, goes out there, looks around. I don't know why he keeps doing that, but you couldn't make me go outside after I heard something like that at three o'clock in the morning for no amount of money. But anyway, he gets up and he goes out there and he looks around and he comes back and he goes, that was him, uh, that was just them, uh, raccoons out there getting in the garbage can. They had taken the garbage can lid off and just thrown it on the porch. And uh, that's that's what I heard. <laughs> so, I'm like, okay, so calm down. I lay back down on the couch, started watching my videos again. Hubby went back into his man cave. And, uh, in a few minutes, he comes back out, <laughs> goes over to the refrigerator, and gets him something to drink. I'm like, what's the matter, honey? Can't you sleep? He's like, well, no. <laughs> Who can sleep when you wake up and your wife is standing beside the bed with a gun? <laughs> I'm like, well, well. <laughs> but anyway, that's my story. Oh, those little shoes look good on her. Yes, they do. But poor hubby. <laughs> And I told him, I said, well, anybody else that comes in here just goes right off to sleep. <laughs> well, yeah. Everybody else didn't wake up to a gun. I'm sorry about the plastic sound. Couldn't find my bottle. I want to have to paint that thing or something. It's clear... And then it has the water and the conditioner in it, which then makes it white, and the bedspread is white. So, and it's in a clear bag on a white bedspread. <laughs> well, <laughs> no wonder you can't see it. But this is my pretty girl, Emma. Her hair's a little long to be doing this, but... Looks better than just laying flat, I think.
<laughs> yeah, that don't look right at all. Let me see if I can plaster it down a little. Does that look a little better? <laughs> and we don't want to cut it, but... But anyway, that's your mommy's girl. Yeah, she's my pretty girl. So, that's Emma. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> well, you gorgeous girl. And now I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do Sam, uh, I think I'm going to do Sammy. Yeah, I'm going to do Sammy. And this is Sleeper Saturday, hosted by Malamore, over at Malamore's. And this is Sammy. <laughs> oh, smiling boy. My only reborn. My only reborn. And we're going to put him, uh, Malamore uh, hosts uh, the uh, Sleeper Saturday. So I'm going to put Sammy in these little sleepers. He's been in these jeans and this t-shirt and these shoes long enough. Haven't you, honey? Mommy's boy. Do you need a, uh, a sleeveless onesie? Hmm? Gosh, I hope everybody's going to have a good day tomorrow. Um, my kids are grown and the grandkids, my old, my oldest grandchildren, that's old enough to come anyway if they wanted to. But you know how teenagers are. Um, you never see a teenager unless they need something or want something, right? Oh, he has a onesie on. But, uh, and then my other two grandbabies are in South Carolina so they won't be here so I guess we we won't be doing anything for Easter and that's a shame you know you you uh you get used to doing stuff for holidays like that, and then they grow up and they don't come back around and never see them or whatever. Whew. It is getting warm here. Mel, you're gonna. I suggest that we. <laughs> I mean, it's your it's your tag or whatever you want to call it. I suggest we change it from sleepers to uh, rompers. I love rompers. Rompers look so good on babies. But I think that's what I'm going to do after after Easter here is start putting mine in uh, rompers because I checked the weather and uh, it's supposed to be in the 80s. I think Thursday, Wednesday, or, or Tuesday or Thursday. It's one of those tea days. <laughs> but... I love rompers on babies. And I like the snaps on the sleepers. I like them better than the um the zips. The zip the zips on the sleepers tend to pucker up. I like these sleepers here. I like the way they feel. They're thin, but they're long-sleeved. I don't think I have any short-sleeved sleepers. Need some, though, for summertime. There you go, buddy. Oh, if you notice, I left his socks on him. I always like to leave their socks on. The sleepers don't slide around as much on their feet when you leave their socks on. Here, we can, we can roll your sleeves up, can't we, buddy? It won't be so hot on you. Help a little bit, won't it, honey? 
handsome boy. Whew. Let's see if we can do something with your hair. It looks like it's a fuzzing up. Let's put some, if I can find it again, spray on it. Oh, I found it. Couldn't go far. It was like right, like right there. I'll have to wash her brush out now that I've brushed his hair with it. This brush ain't really stiff enough for his hair. It's mat. It's uh, he's laid on it so long it's matted up. Well, it ain't matted, but it's kind of knotted. He's got the combination hair. Is what I was trying to think of the last time we done this. I called it the dual dual hair, but it's combination hair. I'm glad y'all know what I'm talking about half the time because I don't. <laughs> there we go, buddy. Kind of wipe you off. Gosh, mom, you're drowning me. Okay. Here's your passy back. I think I broke him from the bottle, but the passy's gonna take a while. I'd like to find him a Mickey Mouse outfit. Little shirt and pants. So, okay now, there's Sammy. That covers Melamore's Sleeper Saturday. And Emma covered Becca's Happy Place Sunshine and Yellow Saturday. So we got them both covered today. First time I've ever done that. But uh, I hope everybody has a good day. I hope everybody has a, a, a beautiful Easter. And Sammy and Emma. <laughs> Emma doesn't look happy. Sammy and Anna, say bye, everybody. Bye. And everybody have a happy uh, Easter. God bless and bye-bye.